Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Infinite Resources 2020. We've recently unlocked the Elders tab and gained infinite power. But we don't have infinite resources yet, so let's keep going. Alright, not sure I need it, but uh, again, series is called Infinite Resources, so we got to get more of it. I want to get a bunch more of this life essence stuff. So, um... I stopped my rituals over here. We have way more than we'll ever need carrots and seeds. Uh, this guy is keeping up on his own. You know, that guy did not help enough. So I don't want to rush back there to put my orb on there if I don't need to. So won't worry about that. What I do want to do is make sure we've got enough for... Oh, I didn't even see this guy. He's still an iron guy. Huh. Well, let's fix that. Yeah, let's get one more of you. I thought I upgraded all the drawers a minute ago, but so I missed one. All right, there we go. So now we have enough for that, too. So we'll have more saplings. Oh, and you, too. Sure, why not? I mean, Emerald's really overkill for you, but, uh, you know, infinite means infinite. Well, I don't know what it means, but it means something. So... Yeah, I don't know. We'll definitely use these for something. Or just say we had them. Whatever. Okay, so those guys are upgraded now. Those should be the last two drawers that were not emerald tier. Oh, I did find out, yes, you can pipe the void pearls out of there. I figured you'd be able to, but I wasn't actually sure, so... As soon as we get one, it'll go in the system. How many do we have right now? 20. I had 17 a minute ago, so this is making them. And it's not supposed to destroy them. It's just supposed to, like, I don't know if it stabilizes it or dest I think it destabilizes it. So eventually it will go away. But um, we'll make another one when that happens. Yeah. So, stupid lag. I mean, I don't even, is, is it even lag? It's, it's not like it's... It doesn't get... It just stops for a second. Is that lag? I think of lag as a slowdown, not not a complete halt. That's a complete halt. Eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and get rid of those guys. Why am I keeping these? I have space. I guess I won't worry about it. Yep, got plenty in these guys. Yeah, we had about... Almost 60,000 items in this one storage drawer, but after we got rid of the dirt, put him over there, uh, we've got a lot less now. So, yeah, so that's a good thing. All right, so I've got a demonically gargantuan drum, and what we'll have to do is just take the essence out of this and put it somewhere else. So, let's go down one level, and yeah, I can pipe out right into this thing. So, let's go ahead and get a conduit. Just want, not one of you, I want one of you. Alright, you are going to be an extract always active. And then we'll put you in here. And you've got, uh, you know, a little bit. You've got the small amount in that, that sub tank. So, that's that. All I have to do now is go turn this guy back on. And he should just be doing his thing. So, yeah. Don't know if this will keep up or not. Um, I put the 13 displacement rooms we have over here. But it's unclear whether he will fill up or not. So, uh, you know what? Clearly he's filling up fast and drain out. Let me make sure I didn't mess up the configuration. Like, are you not an insert maybe? Can I get to you with the Yetta wrench? Let's see here. No, we know we know someone in there. Yeah, it's going in there, just not fast enough. Okay. So yeah. That's uh alright. So maybe we should make 
more displacement runes. That might be the best thing to do. So we could make 13 more and then not use not use so many speed runes. Might be a thing. Can you make displacement runes on your own? Yeah, you can. So, yeah, let's get 12 of these guys. And that should be fine. So, and then you should make more runes for me too, because you've got stuff to go. So, yeah. Nice. System works. So, okay, we'll take care of that. And we'll eventually have a giant tank full of life essence. Again, not sure what, if anything, we'll do with it. But it's all part of infinite resources. Alright, so... I'll go apply the runes to get more displacement, and then maybe we'll do some dimensional stuff. We do have a bunch of dimensional parcels. That will help out, because these are parts for that. So you get those. It's an incredibly rare drop. Apparently not as rare as uh, Enderman heads. Actually, we probably use a bunch of Enderman heads, really. So, but yeah. But uh, apparently about it's about on par as Enderman head drops. So um, I was just going to turn these systems back on, but uh, the gas noise, really irritating. I got rid of Super Sound Muffler, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess regular Sound Muffler? Maybe. This guy, I don't want to turn him on until we have a better way of replacing this sword. Because, you know, I don't know what to do about that guy, and... Uh, you know, I, I want something better for that. So, I either need something other to kill him than a killer Joe, or I need, you know, I don't know, something else. So, either some way to repair the sword, or something better than the killer Joe. We could use another mob crusher, but I've done that like several times now. I want to do something different. So... I'm not sure what, what, what I, don't, I don't know what to do, really, but I'll think about that, and I'll come back a little bit later. Alright, I don't know if this will actually work, but I was reading online, and we might be able to make an unbreakable cleaver with a bunch of paper modifiers. Again, I don't know, I mean, maybe that's from 1.7 or something. I feel like that doesn't work anymore, but if it does, that's a great solution to my Wither Skull farm. So, let's see about getting some of that. So we need some manulin. So let's see here. We need what? Eight for the blade? Yeah, we're going to need that. We need some paper too. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So let's go dump this somewhere. Like here, maybe. Alright, so yeah, let's get that going. We need some clay as well. For the blade. Where's my clay? It should be right in front of me. There it is. Okay. So, again, we put some clay in there to get a cast. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see about the rest of the tool. So. Cleavers require two handles and a plate. So let's see if any of that stuff works. So I need a part builder. I need a tough tool rod. Alright, so there's that. I need a tough plate. How is eight paper two paper value? I don't get that. But, whatever. Um, there we go. Uh, it says they're writable. So that should give us, uh, you know, extra materials. So, let's go see. I need a stone. A uh, blade thing. So, not you. I need a stone large sword blade. Okay. So, let's go over here, take the stone cleaver pattern, 
And where's my clay? Here's my clay. So let's get you. And we'll get the manulin. There we go. We'll go ahead and dump that out. Where's my make faster tool? Okay. So let's go ahead and put this together. Oh, I need some gold too. Uh, who takes care of the gold? You take care of the gold. Uh, I think I need five reinforced things. I've got one. So we need four more. I need four plates, and that's eight gold. So let's go ahead and take care of that as well. That uh, brush generator is uh, leaving snow lying around my base. I don't like that. I guess we could move it farther away, but, eh, it's fine. So, next step is to make this tool and see what happens. So, I want to make a cleaver with a paper head and a paper tool rod and a paper that thing and a sword blade. It says modifiers 5. I don't know. We'll see. So if I get this, all right, and I have to go make uh, four of those guys. So where's the gold? That's oh, I have electrum now. That's unfortunate. Okay, can we stop dumping silver into you for a minute? You've got a little bit of a little bit of silver left. Let's see. What do I need to do? I need. Okay, let's uh, do it over here instead. And right now we will say you're never active. And let's get some more gold. We'll get eight of those going. All right, and you, I need two more Electrum ingots so we can get another, you know, block to put in. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Okay, so do I have a casting table? Oh, good, I do. Okay, there we go. Four blank casts. Okay, one block of Electrum. Let's get you poured out too. And then we can go up and make some of these reinforced modifiers. Okay. Okay, he's got no modifiers at all, so I can't get any more beheading. He's got beheading too, though. that's not terrible. So his durability is garbage. He should be unbreakable though. Again, not sure if I really believe that, but uh, let's see what happens. Alright, let's take you out. Uh, let's just change how many skulls we want real quick. Let's put him at like, I don't know, 2,000 or something ridiculous like that. Where is my skull measurer? I think it's over here. Is it that guy? Yeah. So what if I said I wanted 2,000 of those guys? We should have, you know, plenty of power to take care of this. Okay. He's unbreakable. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, 
That might work out. So, yeah. Okay. I wouldn't have thought about that. But, you know. So we'll come back later and see how it actually ends up working out. How many skulls we have right now? We've got 513. Yeah. So, you know, beheading three would be better. Or seven. But, um... We can just keep going on this, where we couldn't keep going on that tool without repairing it. So hopefully, if that really is, you know, unbreakable, then we can do that. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to wait for a little while to find out, you know, how that ends up working. But, uh, you know, I've got good hopes, so we'll see. I don't think there's any way to add modifiers to a tool like you could in Tinkers with from 1.7. But you used to be able to do so with like a notch apple and a and a something. Let's just go take a look at it real quick. Let's see here. Modifiers. Mm, I don't think so. Sharp, diamond, emerald, fervified, so vein, yada yada. Yeah. I don't think you can do that anymore. But, uh, if he's unbreakable, that's good enough. So, hey, let's look into maybe getting something for. Oh, we've got 64,000. 64K of that stuff. Alright. Lots of chickens now. How are we doing on cake and eggs? No eggs still? You guys need to lay more eggs. see how it goes later on. I mean, hey, we can make more chickens, I guess, because, yeah, why not? Maybe I should, maybe I should just, I should act like it's Tyson's farm, just, you know, get tons of chickens. Oh, Alright, I guess we're done. Get a bunch of chickens and hopefully get enough eggs. I don't know what else to do. I thought we'd have had enough by now, but you know, maybe not. I don't know. But maybe with uh, you know 16 more chickens, we'll have more. And that isn't enough. I'll make a giant chicken farm because you know that's an option. Oh wow. Okay. Just turn this guy uh, back on. I think. Let me see here. How many, how many adult pigs do we have? Enough. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so we'll move all the babies over there now. And that should be enough breeding pigs to, you know, keep going with that. Okay. Alright. So let's go look at dimensional building. So first thing I want to do is take all of these things, all of these parcels, and open them up. Because that'll be fun, right? What do you get for that? You get a uh, digit type controller, digital type controller, effect controller, so... Okay, we're going to need um, something. Maybe to dump you in the system for now. Yeah, probably definitely do that. Let's see. Let's let's uh, let's free up a bit more space. Yeah, um, that's good for now. Again, time to.
dump stuff in the system. And keep going. Okay, so there are all of our demo parcels right now. Uh, honestly, not sure what all we got, but uh, we'll look into that a little bit later. First thing I want to do is work on some of the dimension building aspects. Actually, I want to see uh, how our power is doing. So are we able to dump that much power into both the uh, Quantum Quarry and the other guy? Let's see here. Yeah, we are dumping 38,000 right now. 16,000 for the, the farm and 20,000 for the Quantum Quarry. So, yeah. The one thing I might be concerned about is Dragon's Breath. We only had, I think, nine of those. We only used eight because they last ten minutes, so it, it lasts a long time. But maybe, before we do Dimensions, maybe we should spawn the Ender Dragon and kill him again. Or at least get with some more Breath. So, let's see about getting some end crystals. Alright, that's a good wrapping up point for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like, maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, uh, there's another channel I found called Danny and Son. He does great Britannia videos. You could go watch him. You know what? Go watch him even if you like the video. He's got great stuff too. See you next time.